Welcome back, everyone. This is now the one year and three month update of our ongoing eight way paint protection film product longevity test. You can see the air temperature is about 90 degrees, and the surface temperature of the hood sitting in the sun, 145 degrees, 63 degrees centigrade. Had a lot of rain over the last month, pretty average temperatures, and the last 30 days, as well as the lifetime weather, is on your screen here. We'll spray this hood down using Chemical Guys Honeydew Snow Foam. Rinse it, foam it again, wash it, rinse and dry, and then we'll inspect everything. If you'd like to support the channel, that information's on your screen right here. If you're new to the channel, not familiar with these tests, I've been doing tests like these for the last six years now. This hood will stay outside of our shop here in East Texas 24 hours a day, seven days a week, exposed to the elements, and of course we'll wash it monthly. As we get to about the two year mark, the updates will be less frequent, more every few months or so. We've thrown everything we can think of at this test, mustard stains, scratch resistance, how well it self heals, hydrophobics, we've thrown eggs at it, just absolutely everything you can think of trying to use and abuse this film. The one year mark, we did pull a small strip of each to see how it's doing. So here at the one year, three month mark, sitting in the sun, you can see that they're starting to show some signs of wear. FlexiShield, Lumar, Expel seem to be faring, and Hexus seem to be faring better than the others. Premium Shield showing some discoloration. S Tech, just a slight discoloration. 3M, kind of middle of the road as well. And Ceramic Pro Kavaka being the absolute worst for discoloration. You can see it's turning a dark color. It's not yellowing, it's like graying. And Hexus, it's a month behind everything because when they found out that we were doing this test, they wanted to be included. So they sent us a roll of film to throw on the hood. And it looks like it's holding up pretty well. So as far as clarity and everything goes, it's it's really pretty tough, but Flexi Shield and Expel Premium Shield S Tech, they look significantly clearer. Lumar Sun Tech has a little bit of a haze to it. You can kind of see it right here, especially when it sits right next to Expel. It's not quite as clear. Expel, as is well known, it's pretty orange peely, and that's no different. Premium Shield S Tech, very clear. 3M, again, kind of middle of the road, and Ceramic Pro Kavaka, it's pretty orange peely. So Hexus, Hexus doesn't really have a fair fight for the, the clarity with the black because we did put black vinyl behind it, so it's not a good test, but it is to show you the difference on white versus black. So you can see it on the black, or on the white part of it, it is very clear, not, not orange peely or anything like Expel is. So there you go. There's your update here. Not really much else to report. If you guys want to, anything you want to see us use or abuse to this film, let me know. It does have about three or 4,000 miles on it before I sold the car that this hood was on. So it does have some road miles on it, but not a ton. So there's your update. I will show you at the end of the video here how the film looked as we pulled it and put it on a white piece of paper so you can see the discoloration even better. So thanks for watching guys, just quick update. See you soon.